Hi, and welcome to Studio SN. My name is Sarah Newman, and today I'm really excited to share with you a special card project that I taught at an event called Creative Exchanges in Birmingham, UK. And I was teaching for a British company called Indigo Blue and showing people how to use their flitter glue and mega flake to create really beautiful and very simple stamped and gilded card focals. Now this is going to be segment one of two, so I hope you will join us next week when we explore how to use those very same materials to create a beautiful gilded background. So for now, sit back and enjoy this technique with Indigo Blue. Metallic gilding flake gives a gorgeous look to stamped images, and this heart image has been stamped with a special flitter glue from a company called Indigo Blue, and then I've applied their Mega Flake on top to create this metallic effect, and I think as I tilt this, you can see the shine of that and how it's a little bit variegated, some silver, copper, gold, all different kinds in there. It is such a simple technique to do and it gives a really rich look and it's actually very, very easy to do. So let me show you the supplies I've used and then how to put it together. So all of the materials I'm working with are from a company called Indigo Blue and this is a British company. They're well known for their rubber stamps but they also have a really cool product called Mega Flake and I'm using the flitter glue starter kit. So this is what is going to be inside. And this is a great way to get started if you've never done anything with Mega Flake or with gilding before. So inside you've got a jar of the Mega Flake. I think you can see this is the gilding flake inside here. And this color is Eaton Mess. It comes in lots of different colors. You also have the flitter glue, which is the adhesive to make the Mega Flake stick. You have some easy peasy stamp cleaner. You've got a spatula, you've got some fat foam, which will be the applicator, and you have a scoochie sponge. And you also have some instructions in here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out a couple of these supplies. And one thing I would suggest you do is when you empty this all out, you can then decant your Mega Flake into the plastic box. It's a really nice sturdy box and it makes it super easy to apply and keep everything kind of contained in one area. Okay, so I've got my Mega Flake, I've got my flitter glue, I've got my stamp cleaner, which I'll set aside, and my spatula. Now I need to have a stamp, of course, and the stamp that I'm going to use is also from Indigo Blue. This is their one of their dinkies, and it's the Heart Flourish. This works beautifully with the Mega Flake. So I've got this already mounted up onto my acrylic block. You can see it's a red rubber stamp, just clings right on there. And I need to have something, of course, to stamp it onto. So I'm using a piece of black cardstock. I'm gonna put it onto a piece of white scrap paper just to kind of keep everything contained. Now the other thing I'm going to have on hand is my piece of fat foam. And this comes included in the kit. And I'm going to also use a little ceramic tile. This is actually a candle holder. And what's nice is that this is where I can put my sticky piece of fat foam so that it doesn't end up stuck to everything else on my work surface. So here's my flitter glue. And I need to apply this onto the stamp. But rather than simply squirting it onto the stamp, I'm going to put it onto this piece of fat foam onto the white side, not the black side, and then take the spatula and just kind of work that in there. You don't need very much. This will stay really tacky for a long time, so a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just going to work this evenly into that piece of foam. Whoops, there we go. And then scoot this aside. I've got my stamp all mounted on here, and then I just need to tap this on. And I think you can see when I've got it on here. You don't need to have a whole lot. You'll be able to see when it is on the stamp. Okay, I'll put this onto my um, ceramic tile and then I'm just going to move this in and stamp. Now you don't need to press very hard and you don't need to hold it down there for a long time otherwise it can end up glued to your cardstock. I don't know if you can see this as I move it but the glue has been stamped on there. Now, unlike embossing where you would need to work very quickly, you actually don't need to work quickly at all here. And one thing that I recommend is that you go ahead and wash off your stamp or at least drop it into some water and then that way it'll be easier to clean later. So you can actually let this sit for a couple of minutes if you need to and then come in with your Mega Flake. And again, I'm working with Eaton Mess 
And you can see how lovely this is. It's just nice big pieces of gilding flake. So this one happens to have a lot of silver. It's also got some copper in there and a little bit of gold. So all I need to do is just drop this right onto my stamped image. And nothing goes to waste, so you don't have to worry about being too sparing with this. And then just tap it down right onto that stamped image. And I sort of press and rub with my hands a little bit. And you can see that it will start sticking right on there. And you can see I've, I was able to get a lot of the silver and then also some of the gold down here as well too. So I'm just going to burnish this with my hand a little bit, tap off some of the excess, and then I can just funnel this back into my box or into my jar. But in the meantime, I want to really burnish this well. So what I'm going to do is take my scoochie sponge and go ahead and just rub off the excess and this will really make the detail of the stamp stand out as well. Okay, so just burnish that off, tap off the excess and then I usually take a big fluffy brush and then just get off any of the loose bits and then again just decant this back into my jar or into that box and you can see how quick and easy that was. Now if you happen to get any stray bits of glue and mega flake on there um, Indigo Blue also has a really cool tool called a Wizzy Eraser. So this is the eraser tip on here. I think you can hear that. And this is a whizzing eraser which will actually remove any excess bits on there so that you can get a really clean and perfect look every single time. So that's how you can apply the Mega Flake. Let me bring back in my original card and I'll move this out very carefully. We can take a look at the rest of the card. So I've simply mounted this up onto a piece of cream cardstock, added a little twine bow down there at the bottom. Now this background paper is also from Indigo Blue and this is from their ephemera, Fantastic Ephemera paper pack. And you can see all of the really pretty ephemera designs on here. These are six by six papers. And I just simply mounted, mounted um, the two, side, two short sides onto black cardstock, put it down onto the front of my card, and then added this on top, and I am good to go. So this is how you can combine Indigo Blue's Mega Flake with their stamps to create really simple and beautiful card focals. I hope you enjoyed today's show. For more ideas and inspiration, please stop by my website at sarahnewman.com. If you enjoyed today's video, I invite you to subscribe to Studio SN on YouTube, and I will keep you updated with a new video every Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining me on Studio SN, and I'll see you again next time.